interviews with land, privacy, and luxury. You're going to love today's home tour. Today we're visiting Shea Homes community called Reserves at Story Rock. In case you're not familiar with Story Rock, it's a community just north of the McDowell Mountain Range. It features builders such as David Weekly, Taylor Morrison, Rosewood Homes, and of course, Shea Homes. What's up everyone, Ryan Meeks here with Escape to Arizona, back with another home tour. If it's your first time to my channel and you find value in this video, please consider subscribing and clicking on that notification bell to be notified and getting the scoop every time we put out another video just like this one. And hey, if you're on the hunt for a new build, remember there's absolutely no charge to have realtor representation on your new build purchase. The builder pays our fees and you have representation throughout the build process. And as always, you can reach out for a buyer consultation where we'll go over everything you need to know before you even step foot into a new build sales office. So feel free to schedule that right now with the Calendly link below in the descriptions. So Shea Homes, they have two collections here within Story Rock. The other collection is the signature collection. We did not visit that one, probably won't for a while because that model home is still not ready to be toured. They are still building it. However, we do have pricing for both series, the signature and the reserves right behind me in the Google Drive file below. So the homes in the reserve series has four distinct floor plans. These range from 3,776 to 4,779 square feet. There's options for three to five bedrooms, three and a half to four and a half baths, price from 1.7 to $2.2 million. So all in, I think you guys are gonna probably be around 1.9 to 2.6. So as always, let's take a look at the floor plan options, which are also available at the link below, but just to give you guys the scoop on what you can do with these floor plans. Okie dokes. Here we are, obviously they don't want anybody pulling into the driveway here, but really nice size lot. Huge driveway. There's gonna be your garage space right here. Walking on in, beautiful desert landscaping. You're gonna see this in most of the properties here, just kind of like an upscale landscaping with a variety of desert vegetation. So beautiful courtyard coming in right here. This house feels really good. I've been in it. It's just a build, everything. I mean, even look at this courtyard. Looks almost like a commercial space, which is good. It's, and before we go check out the house, there is a, a casita right here. So let's go in and uh, see what this is all about, shall we? Holy cow. Definitely got some nice features to this casita. So we have a living space. Looks like a little bit of a uh, wet bar over here to the right. So something for somebody that's gonna be staying a short while. And of course the bedroom over here. But big enough to, uh, to make an impact, I think, and to be a nice place to stay. Someone looking forward to staying with you here in North Scottsdale. Definitely would be a great option. Of course, this is the model once again, guys. So please do realize they're gonna have to upgrade, get all the bells and whistles here. It's not gonna be cheap, but you know, you get what you want, build from the ground up and make it your own. So with that, let's go check out the main living space. Just everything's very, uh, very tight is how I can explain it. So. Walking on in here, huge door, great quality, really nice smell as well. So we're gonna have about 10 foot ceilings as we come into this property, plan 7024. Dining room to our left, main living space over there, and a little office to my right. So let's go check out some of the rooms up front and then we'll make our way back to the main living space so coming through this wing we have a half bath right here <coughs> excuse me beautifully tiled accent wall behind the mirror we have a bedroom up front here 
which is an ensuite as well. Now this is a really big room, plenty of space for a guest. And as you saw from the floor plan changes, you could definitely switch this up a little bit. Nice size shower here. Good size bathroom for any guest. So this is oversized. This room is really generous. You could probably, I mean, obviously they have a desk here, but you could probably put some built-ins over here, create another desk over in that section of the room. And we skipped by this guy. So let's go check this one out. So also an ensuite here, not as big as the last room, but really generous room size. I would not be complaining if I was staying in this room for any duration. Digging the uh, accent wall right there. Love those fans too. I'm a fan of those wood look fans. Yeah, pun intended there. Nice walk-in closet here. Once again, still seeing 10 foot ceilings as we're going through these rooms. And that hardware style I like, this is great. Definitely recommend that. You've probably seen it in my other videos. So heading on in here, here's a better look at the office. I just kind of glanced over that as we went, went through. Um, beautiful built-ins there. Love the backsplash on that as well. Really nice. And let's go check outside right here. This is a cool looking space. Ooh, giving you guys a taste of the outdoors before we go back in here. So we got bocce ball right here with a view of the mountains in the background. That's pretty nice. Got some Palo Verde trees blocking the view though. I'd probably cut those guys down. So we'll go see the rest of this backyard after we've toured the main home. But it's always nice to have a side enclave over here. Um, sort of a retreat. Meditation spot just to get away. If you don't have a front courtyard, I think it's a really nice feature. This tree growing in the middle here. Gonna need a little bit of cleanup on that guy, so just keep that in mind. And this actually, I noticed, closed really nicely behind me. So I notice a lot of times with these sliders, when you go to close them, they sort of bounce back open. But this one just closes, so. It's probably the first one I've experienced that has done that in a while. So heading back in here to the main living space. Here we go, going up to about 13 feet. And check this out. Kitchen's looking real nice. And the living room, beautiful. Love these uh, pendant lights hanging down from the ceiling. Modern look. Waterfall edge on this countertop. Beautiful, look at these white cabinets with black hardware and they're just super low profile, very modern. Haven't seen anything like that in a while. And I love these cabinets over here. I love the black with the white. This would probably be what I could get, or I would get, if I could get it <laughs> on a new build. This looks really classy. Holy smokes, love what they've done here. This is impressive. All the cabinetry over here. Nice Thermador fridge. Absolutely amazing. Love it, no complaints here. I feel like there's plenty of space and then Here's your little game room set up right here. You can also eat there as well. But check out the uh, the wine fridges. Is this a fridge or is this, what? what's going on here with these? What is the deal? Did these open up? Am I gonna break something? That is a gigantic wine fridge. All right. Holy cow. I've not seen that. It's a Thermador in case you guys wanna buy these. So two Thermador wine coolers there. Wine coolers, fridges. 
whatever you want to call them. Love the cabinetry. Love everything, guys. I'm a huge fan. Can't see the brand of uh, cabinetry that they're using here, but it's good. I'm telling you. Love these Sputnik lights hanging down from the ceiling. I could just stay in here all day and shoot video of this. <laughs> Don't tell me this is a pebble ice machine right here. I will freak out. It's a, it's not pebble ice, but it's an ice machine. You know how much ice I have in my house right now? None. My kids eat all the ice. Ugh, it's really annoying, but love these appliances. Thermador, really top of the line stuff here. Let's go, um, we're gonna go to the right over here, see what we're working with. You know what, let's, let's head back over here, guys. Let's go, I, I missed a spot up front here. I don't wanna have to come back over here. Not that I would mind, but let's check this out. So right here we have the pantry and look at these built-ins. Now this looks like a fancy closet to a master bedroom. Really, really beautiful. And looking over here, we have the laundry room, which is almost as big as a hobby room with access, of course, to the garage. I love the undermount lighting in the laundry room, especially reflecting off of the white floor tile. Access to the garage here once again. So you can see this modern look with the cabinets. So just to give you guys an idea how that looks and uh, just a simple granite countertop right here. Or not granite, I'm sorry, quartz. Really beautiful. Didn't notice that this room actually went in to, so, so our front door is gonna be right here. So this is our formal dining space right here. Or maybe switch it up, create something different out of it, whatever you guys wanna do. Now, we're gonna go over to the right, but first we're gonna take in these views. Whew, amazing. That is a hot tub back there. And that is a big hot tub. That looks like a hot tub from Lifetime Fitness, if you've ever been in that one. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm digging that yard, guys. All right, we'll get out there in a sec. So behind the main media wall, we have a little bit of a bar situation going on here. Looks like this would be the party room, kind of, you know, where the VIPs hang out, get away from kids not that I think many kids will be living around here but uh this this is awesome this is this is really great I love the wet bar and uh fridge down there it looks like it lights up when you walk by it or something just happened there love the tile on the wall and love this pendant light there all alone Really nice, guys. Cool room, cool secret room. Maybe put a bookcase over here. You know, have it pull the book out and the room opens up to... That's what I would do. So. Something's making noise over here. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the ice filler, maybe. Oh, I left the, left the fridge open. That would have been bad. That would have not allowed me to come back. So I love this sconce uh, right as you walk into the master bedroom, accenting that piece of art there. Obviously the uh, beams on the ceiling painted gray. I think that's a really nice look. Good modern take on the whole ceiling beam thing. And check out these lights right here, guys. You can move these. So if you wanted to put them back over here, can do that. It's pretty impressive. Looks like an engineered hardwood floor. Really nice. Feels super sturdy. And once again, going into the bathroom. No doors on the bathroom here. We don't mess around like that. We love seeing people make it in Arizona. That's just our thing. So walking into the closet, guys, I'll give you a taste of that in a second. Let's go to the back to the bathroom. Um, beautiful accent wall here behind the framed mirrors. I think that looks really cool. Sort of like a tuxedo black look, I think. Quite masculine. We have our standalone tub and then our uh, seamless shower. So by seamless, I mean, there's not gonna be any uh, 
any race platform to get into the shower. So definitely an upgrade there. Really nice looking shower, rainfall head here and uh, the normal shower and then the other one. So you got three separate, three separate water features coming out there. There's me today. I love it, love the bathroom. Not oversized, you know, sometimes they create these bathrooms, they're so big that they just take up a lot of square footage and you're wondering where the rest of the square footage went. So once again, love this, um, love this finish. Look how just fancy that is, guys. Beautiful cabinetry. So it's really, really cool too because you can see what's in here. I mean, this would be the one place that you'd want cabinets with see-through glass, in my opinion. Because most glass isn't see-through, right? Make sure it's a see-through glass, not that non-see-through glass they've been coming out with lately. Love these black doors, quick set door handles. I put one of these on, it doesn't feel like that. I probably did it wrong, but nice black door. This looks great. We have one light coming down there. I like that look as well as the can lights. So in case you guys haven't seen the video that um, I go through where I just recommend things to get in a new build, make sure you check that out. I think it's really helpful. It's on my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. And we have all the story rock models we're gonna be featuring in one playlist. In case I didn't tell you that already. So let's go check out the outside. We're gonna go through the slider here. Oh, I just locked it, unlock. Let's see how it works. Super smooth, very easy to uh, go in and out. That's good. So this patio is really, covered patio is really long. So you can see we have a table here that sits about 100 people. And then over here, uh, four separate chairs with a fireplace. It's gonna keep it pretty cozy here. You can also put a TV right there if you wanna watch your March Madness sports games or whatever they're watching these days. Women's power lifting. And let's zoom in so you guys can see the uh, McDowell Mountain Range from the back here, really nice. So that's kind of what it looks like. That's a better take on it rather than the wide angle lens. It's gonna make it look a little bit less. So, love this yard, plenty of space. You really can't complain about not having enough space in the backyard. Love this pool, here's your Baja shelf. I also have a video on the five must-haves for your pool. It does include a Baja shelf in there. I think that's really nice to just kind of sit down on. Love this outdoor space here. This is beautiful. You got the kegerator over there. So easy access, a lot of fun. Uh, I don't see a cooking station anywhere, but you know, I think that uh, those get, they're, they're pretty pricey and they, they get trampled on and beaten over the years. So look at the side yard, by the way, a lot of space there. So I think it's a lot better to just get like a smoker. And then, you know, you gotta replace it every five years. Just do that. Whatever you guys wanna do, I'm on board for it. So here's gonna be your hot tub. Check this out. I love this. Man, that is quite the hot tub. They got a little party in there. I'm telling you. It's like 12 feet long by maybe four feet. Beautiful infinity edge there as you sit in it. You got your uh, recliners out here. Absolutely gorgeous backyard. And then a little sitting space over there with a gas fireplace. That's what's coming out over there. So. Whew. Love this model. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I could just get video of this pool all day. That's what I might do. I might not leave. I might go swimming. Let's feel how cold it is, slash hot, rather, because it's, oh, it's actually, man, that is, it's a lot cooler than my pool. I had to clean my cartridges, finally did that, and uh, now the aerator is working a little bit better, so I'm thinking it'll cool down. This is great.